Hey there, welcome to the channel. So today I've got two fists full of spices. Why do I have the spices? Because they're in the pantry and these are probably all in your pantry too. So today, instead of reaching for a packet, we're gonna make gluten-free taco seasoning. Guys, this is a taco seasoning recipe that I've been using for months now. Taco seasoning prices are going up. You always have to check and make sure they're gluten-free or not, unless they're clearly marked. We can use a couple store brands in our house, as well as Old El Paso, but they're not listed as gluten-free. They just don't have anything in them that should contain gluten. If you're celiac, you know that doesn't work. You have to make sure it says gluten-free. And if you have all the spices, why aren't you just gonna make it yourself? I'm Jamie with Savory Saver. I share gluten-free recipes, tips, tricks, and resources to make your gluten-free lifestyle easier. So let's take a few seconds and make up some taco seasoning. So I've got all our spices lined up and a small bowl. And if you wanted to double or triple the recipe, you certainly could. I think it's easy enough for me that I don't make multiple batches of it because if we only have tacos one week and then don't have them for two or three weeks, everything can get clumpy depending on how much moisture are in your spices. So I make it as I need it. It only takes a second. And honestly, usually when I do it, I guesstimate. I don't even use the measuring spoons. I'm just doing this to show you guys about how much I use. This amount will do about one and a half pounds of meat to two pounds, depending on how much seasoning you like. So adjust up or down a little bit as you like, depending on how much you're cooking. So I'm gonna start with chili powder, just a mild chili powder, nothing spicy or anything. So I want a tablespoon of that. A Little bit of overspill, but that's gonna be fine. Next, I want two teaspoons of ground cumin. I'm gonna add half a teaspoon of both garlic powder and onion powder. I like to add a little bit of oregano to mine. If you have Mexican oregano, that would work. Maybe a quarter teaspoon. Just crumble that in there. You could totally leave this out if you don't have it or don't wanna use it. Now let's talk a couple optional things. If your family likes spicy, add some cayenne pepper. Maybe quarter teaspoon to a half teaspoon, depending, depending on how spicy you guys like it. Totally optional, not gonna add it to mine. Salt and pepper. Those packet mixes are loaded with sodium. So add salt and pepper to your taste. If you're seasoning a pound of beef, you wanna add anywhere probably from three quarters of a teaspoon to a teaspoon of salt per pound. Totally up to you as far as the pepper. I would probably add anywhere from a fourth of a teaspoon to a half a teaspoon per pound of ground beef. So when I make my taco meat, that's when I'll add these to it. When you add your spices, you want to add them to the meat after it's been browned. And if you drain it, then you would add your spices. Add all your spices, mix them in well because a lot of these spices are oil soluble, meaning that's when they're gonna bloom and start giving off their flavor. Then you wanna add anywhere from two thirds to a cup of water to make that taco meat saucy. If you need more water, add it. If you don't want as much, don't use as much. You wanna simmer everything just like you would with a packet for probably anywhere from five to 10 minutes, adding water as needed. So here's our taco spices all mixed up. We've got gluten-free taco seasoning. It was easy. It only took a couple minutes. It was what? 25 cents worth of spices maybe? That's all there is to it. Double, triple the batch if you want. Make it as you go. Whatever works best for your family. Guys, that's all I have for today. Please leave me any comments below and I hope to see you on the next video.